Yo, what's, what's good, guys? So, yeah, today is the third game of the intramurals. Now, we got we got five players, so we should we should be good, though. You know what I'm saying? We should be better than last time. Yeah, we should be better than last time. So now we're gonna play. We're gonna wait until they they finish. Then we're gonna start warming up and giving y'all a little bit of content. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I already shot, but just for the camp. <laughs> ah, no, that's a miss. But I don't see anything. Ah, yeah? But I don't see anything. No, it's good, it's good. I'm back. I'm going to make one shot at least, you know, because I've been missing my shot. Yeah, the back. Twin, twin, twin. Twin step back. Psych. Step back again and miss. Oh my gosh, never mind. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Cash. Play here. Thank that. Don't jump now. Better not jump. Nothing. Ready? Neymar. We were not supposed to play these guys. They just came from nowhere. Or I, I think they play on the other side. So that's why the game just stopped. So now we gotta wait for the real team. I don't know who it is, but that's where it is right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo? Oh, it. oh. 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 Come on, man, okay? Boy. No, not saying what? <laughs> hey, but as well, at this point, <laughs> oh, that's oh. oh my gosh, I have to the ball. Ha ha ha! 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 Ha 
Oh, si tu mets cela, si tu as un. Hey, oh no, you got my ball. Excuse me. Take it. Excuse me. Je passe quoi encore? Un de ces C'est le premier, c'est le premier. Il faut que je fasse après. Bah, j'en scune, scune. Oh, viens, viens, viens. Ah, bon, ah bah, allez, bah, just went in front of me. Tu veux Mike après Ça va. Ouais, ouais. Oh non oh, Mon pied a bloqué Mon pied a bloqué Maman, maman, gars Come on. Ouais, ouais. Vas-y, on fait pause. Yo, let's take a break, let's take a Lefty. Lefty. No, one time. Nice shot. Off. Oh, nice shot. Hey, this day was weird, but hey. <laughs> now I'm just playing. This day wasn't the day we wanted, but hey. We just came to shoot a little bit. So we're gonna end this video with a verse as we always do. We either start we either start a YouTube video with a Bible verse or we end the video with a Bible verse, but this time we're gonna end with the Bible verse. So the verse that I had in my heart strongly that the Lord 
put in my heart was in Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 to 7. It's basically because I had a situation where I, had, I was dealing with some some of my emotion that I have to put aside. But the Lord just gave me this verse to remind myself that my joy and my peace should always depend on on Jesus and nothing else. So the verse the first verse, verse four says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say I will say it again, rejoice. Let let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. So yeah, as I said, I was dealing as, with, a, with a specific situation, and the Lord wanted me to act a certain way. And basically, it's like with everything that I go through in life, if my emotions are based on or depends or are easily affected by this cir circumstance around me, I will never get the peace or the joy that I, the Lord can bring me. I will never get peace and joy from that because it's always going to be up. Life is always about ups and downs, left and right. It's, nothing in life is stable. But Jesus is the only key that brings you a joy that nothing in this world can give you. And this situation is like something random, something that is not really important in my life. But because I had my focus strongly on that, it affected my, my day. And I couldn't really find peace. I couldn't pray. I couldn't really read, read the Bible. But by letting the Spirit talk to me and by strongly fighting my, my emotion and going in the presence of God, I was able to let the spirit speak to me and that was the verse that he gave me so this is like a little encouragement for you guys to always stick with jesus in everything because if you are chasing the stuff that the world give you it will never be enough you will never get satisfaction from all the things that you are chasing but by letting jesus be the center of your life and letting jesus really be in your heart the joy and the peace, as the verse 7 says, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. If you truly let that peace through Jesus Christ enter your life, by asking God to really renew your mindset, renew, renew your heart, it will be able to bring that peace because you will be opening your heart and your mind to it. So that's a little encouragement for you guys. Never get stuck on little matters. Never get stuck on bad situation. Never let your emotion be aff easily affected by the circumstance of life, but truly find your peace in Jesus. Stay in his presence. Pray, read the Bible. And everything around will never be influencing your emotion. Emotions, I mean. So that's it. I'm going to make a quick prayer as we always do. Jesus, I want to say thank you for this lesson that you gave me and that you give the, the audience that is watching. I thank you for the sacrifice that you made on the cross. I thank you for life itself. I thank you for all the lessons that we learn every day. We always got to humble ourselves and remind that we cannot achieve, we cannot be perfect, we cannot get everything that we want. But just by, let, by letting you truly reside in our heart and giving you the priority in our heart, in our minds, we will truly get the happiness and the peace that you are giving us. And I thank you for the strength that you give everybody watching this. I pray that their mind may be renewed. I pray that their hearts may be renewed. And remove every th distraction and every influence in their life that can be 
a strong effect, a strong influence that can move or bring the emotions down. I pray for peace and joy that only you can give. And I thank you for this day. I thank you for everybody that is supporting us. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Uh, as we always say, break your limits. And see you for the next episode. By God's grace.